you ever drive junk for so long of your life, you're not sure if things are actually working properly or if they're broken. Well, it's Sunday morning and I have a master plan. It's Labor Day weekend. We crabbed all last week, Monday through Friday, to catch as many crabs as we could so that I could sell them Friday evening and Saturday. I did first come, first serve at the crab stand and I sold every crab I caught yesterday. Rolling the dice a little bit and we are crabbing Sunday. Now I'm gonna catch as many crabs as I can and then I will have crabs tomorrow, which is actually Labor Day in the morning. Now, a lot of times people cannot get crabs on actual Labor Day because they sell out on the weekend. So I'm hoping that there's enough people that still want to buy crabs actually on Labor Day that I can sell all the crabs I catch today. It's a little bit of a risk. I think I'm going to have no problem selling these crabs. And then, Lord willing, we will have the next two days off. The guys will have three days off. They're not working Monday. I'm working. Then I'm going to take Tuesday, Wednesday off because I'm tired, the crew's tired, my equipment's tired. Just trying to capitalize on these last couple weeks of summer. Once kids go back to school, which was last week, and once Labor Day is over, their prices really got to come down. They got to be nicer crabs. Got to work really hard to sell the crabs. All right, we're loaded up. We don't usually crab on Sundays. It shouldn't be any different than any other day. <laughs> Are we off on the back? All right. We're about to find out. We're either going to pop lines or be fine. Pretty day out. We're off to a pretty good start. Before we even uh, fished the first row, sucked up a uh, spring line into the wheel. So it's going well so far. 925, we've got six rows left. We're making real good time today. We've actually been catching quite a few crabs. They're really pretty crabs, too. Not quite a few, actually. Some larges. Medium, smalls, females. They mean. Nice. No huge load of them, but I mean, they're nice. Got some really nice big extra larges too. The Labor Day weekend is like the back, last big weekend for guys to really sell crabs relatively easily. The last weekend of the summer. After Labor Day weekend, it gets pretty hard to sell crabs. The state actually allows us to work on our day off and we are allowed to haul gear seven days a week. So we're taking advantage of that this week. I'm really hoping people show up tomorrow. Get nervous, but people always show up. The biggest thing I don't want to do is, you know, I'd hate for people to come out and I don't have enough crabs to sell them. That's really what I always try to avoid is disappointing people, you know, I hate doing that. But, but we always say that if you ain't made your money by the time kids go back to school, you're gonna be hard up. And when you sell your own crabs direct to the customer like I do, very important that you capitalize on all the holidays and make sure you make all the money before kids go back to school. Oh, I hit myself in the face with a clip. There's a poker run starting your heart down there. There is a poker run going on. There's speedboats all over the place. It's pretty awesome. That's where I want to be. There's a thing called a poker run going on today. They do them in the bay a lot. It's a big speedboat event. Real poker runs, they used to set up a bunch of bars on the water. You'd get a whole big group of speedboats that would race from bar to bar in each class. And every time they got to a bar, they'd get a card. And by the end of the run, they'd have a full hand. Then they would all play poker. And whoever won the game of poker would win all the, the pot of money. Most of the time, they don't actually play the poker or anything. It's basically just a fun run where they run around to different bars and hang out. I'm jealous, I wish I was doing that today. The goal tomorrow is to be able to uh, be done selling crabs by noon. Hopefully have the rest of the day to go do something. Maybe I'll be able to convince one of my buddies with a speedboat to take us out. Really any boat that's not mine is fine with me. Best boat is truly a friend's boat. I'm not setting a very straight line here. Like Helen Keller set this one back. Finished up, crabbed our Sunday. What do you think AJ? Wanna go home, I hear ya. We got some nice pretty crabs. We then camp the corn guy. Yep. We actually caught quite a few more crabs than I was expecting to. My concern is that it's not my normal business hours and I'm not here to I'm not gonna be there today, which is Sunday. If they show up, they show up. If not, I'll try to put pedal them this week. But it is Labor Day, and I know a lot of guys ain't gonna have crabs because most people is sold out by Saturday or Sunday. 
like I was yesterday. Didn't get a chance to come down and clean the trailer out. Now I gotta take the trailer down to the marina, take everything out, scrub it out, put the crabs I caught today into the trailer, and then bring it back here. So, a lot more work today. Oh yeah, another fresh, clean trailer that I get to get all nasty and dirty and filled with dead crabs tomorrow. Beautiful. In the splash zone. Gotta get her plugged in and get the AC kicking in there. Look at that. The truck goes into the drive and into park now. Before, when I would put it in the park, it would go into reverse. I had to replace that freaking whatever this thing is. I'll tell you, I've had so many problems with this Thermo King unit. I replaced it with just a regular window shaker and a cool bot here. And I'll tell you what, that thing is nice. It actually works really, really well. Well, usually, is it gonna turn on or what? Well, I said something and now it won't turn on. Come on, man. Nice. When they hose the trailer out, hose the freaking outlet down, now the thing is wet and it, the breaker keeps breaking. To this point, if it all went up in flames, wouldn't be so bad. Matt left the window cracked on that side. My arms are too short, I can't even reach that crank. I gotta take a freaking Uber to the other side of the truck just to roll the window up. Here we go. Oh. All right. Uh -huh. There we go. Beautiful. It's Monday, Labor Day, and we were about to find out if people are gonna show up to buy crabs. I'm trying to advertise it really well, but the hours have changed. Uh, I also hope that a ridiculous amount of people don't show up because that would be awkward and I don't have enough crabs. I don't know. I always stress about this stuff and what I gotta do is just let it go. I'll say it is bizarre to see Pasadena looking like a ghost town. <clears throat> 8.30 in the morning on a Monday. Looks good, we got lots of people. Ready? Ready, Ready for battle? <laughs> All right. Whew. Just got through the rush. It's crazy. Not bad. Oh, it's another more one. more people. Yep. We gotta get back to it. Look at those big, nice, pretty extra large crabs. I'm jealous I'm not eating them myself, honestly. Here you go. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at that, they come in hot. Skid right in here to get these crabs. I just pretty much worry for like, Nothing. Amazing. Kind of the perfect amount of crabs. They're like, all I have left now, we got like 20 minutes left. I got a bushel of smalls because everybody got what they wanted. They didn't want larges. I had mediums for them. We got through the run. All in all, success. Way, went way better than Mother's Day. That was a disaster. I ran out of crabs, so I went out crabbing, didn't catch anything. Oh, yeah. And then just awful. came back, and all I had was enough crabs to basically disappoint everybody. Yeah, that was a failure. Yeah, that was a total epic fail. But rolled the dice once again, expecting disaster. We got success. Now we just gotta wrap everything up and I got a bunch more work to do. But hey, earned a couple days off the water. I got a lot more stuff to do. At least I don't have to get up at four. You see the Jersey Shore boys doing the Wawa's got pizza? <laughs> you guys got the last crabs and you got some good corn. Yeah, right. Sweden, check that tattoo out, man. You got crab check. tattoo. And this hey, one. Ravens, baby. Look at that one. We go Ravens to the Natty Bow. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's True go. Baltimore boys, right? Yes, thank you. Got you, it, brother. Have All right, weekend. thanks guys. I appreciate it. Uh, that's a terrible noise. My truck just started making a horrible noise on the way home. It sounds like tires squealing, but I didn't think the brakes worked on this trailer. It has brakes that work, but I don't have a brake controller, so I don't know what, why they would be squealing. The trailer cleaned out. Good to go. That was a long grind of a week and weekend. Long weekend too. Only got so many days a year to make your whole living. Oh, it's that wheel that's locking up. You ever drive junk for so long of your life, you're not sure if things are actually working properly or if they're broken. You just know that something's different. Apparently my trailer brakes work. I didn't even know this truck had a brake controller even in it. It apparently just decided to start working set too high. So first I gotta find it because it's not even in here where I, where I can even see it. And then I guess I gotta adjust it. <sighs> projects on projects.